Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Now I know I mentioned in my last episode that I was probably going to be putting this series on hiatus for a little bit, but I got some response asking me to keep this going, so I'm going to go ahead and keep it going. And actually I was able to get some time off from work um, around the uh, Christmas holiday, so I'll be able to have a little bit more time than I thought I was going to um, to work on my other series. So we're going to go ahead and keep this going. So, in our last episode, we um, continued trying to work on getting our expansion going here in the uh, Kingdom of Nicaea. And we also started up some Holy Wars um, here to start taking territory in the Kingdom of Syria. Because they're actually a different religion, so we can declare Holy Wars to, to get there to get that territory so I'm gonna try and probably continue that effort um, and maybe I'll actually be able to create that kingdom uh, first because this is gonna take a little while because it's the same religion as me it's the same culture as me so it's gonna be harder to get valid Cassus Belli's to take that territory so um, we are gonna let that roll um, I can't do something as simple as, like, offer vassalization. No. Small difference in rank. Yeah. Alright, well, let's get things moving here. Uh, let's see. Master Gardener? No, still no Master Gardener. Oh, we just I need a new commander. I'll send a new commander up. Uh, Vassal Inheritance wants to Pontifex Maximus. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I can press a jour Ducal Claim. Oh, I can grab that. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, and I did notice that our monthly balance is now up to 22 and a half income. Which is very nice. And I think that's because when we took this region here, it's actually sitting on top of a trade route. Yep, it's the hub of a trade route. And the trade post there is making a lot of money, so that was actually a big boon to our economy, uh, getting Antioch. So, let's just go ahead and declare war. Let's see, I actually hold this We're going to declare war on this guy. This is your claim. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to send it. Alright, now he has a decent army, so let's raise up mine. All 10,000 men. Let's see, light infantry, heavy infantry. I'm going to see what I can do about improving. And what we're going to do is we're going to keep this here. We're going to march it. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in as two armies. Um, primarily to try to avoid attrition penalties. I think there's like a spot here where, yeah, there's, there's some spots through here where the supply is pretty low, so we have a primary army and a set of reinforcements. Let's see, what's the, yeah, we're good there. Uh, this is probably still, demand important prisoners... Yeah, let's demand important prisoners. Uh, ransom all foreign prisoners. Yeah, might as well do that. Yeah, we're gonna get s they're gonna get some sieges in as we march across. Especially since this region isn't very well developed. 
And no, we are losing money. I'm not too worried about that, though. Chief of Mesembria. He better not try anything. Let's get our guys in here and let's start. Let's see, what is the supply there? Oh, everybody move together in, into Antioch. Supply here in Antioch is 21,000, yeah. Plenty big enough to hold our entire army. Unlanded sons. I might have some land uh, lands I can give my sons in a moment. Alright, let's merge my guy up and s launch my attack. He has a mountain bonus. Oh, they're sending in reinforcements. I don't think it's going to be enough. Yep, sending in everything now. Yep, the center's collapsing. Yep, I see another highborn noble. We're going to charge him. Oh, and he ran away. He decided better of it. We're just gonna march in, wipe out the rest of his army. I'm gonna try and escape. Might be able to get away. Yep, we got away. We won't get away from this. Yep, not a chance. Oh, and we took this dude captive. Now when I get into his territory, there might become a supply issue, and at that point we'll just have to deal with it. Catch him. Ah. Come on, catch him. Caught him. Fine. Alright, another highborn noble. He ran away. We're just going to chase his armies down and gather up all the war score from every army that he can possibly raise. And maybe potentially actually capture him in battle. So I can get that like instantaneous win. Alright. Piece of cake. And where in the world are they getting all these troops? Alright, well, what I'm going to have to do here is I'm probably going to split my army. I'm going to split my army. I'm going to send one army there. We're going to use the other army to chase his guys down. Oh, uh, some other guys joined the war. That's what happened. He's trying to get away. As you are sparring with a practice dummy, your mind wanders and you begin to picture the face of your... I guess I'm sparring with a practice dummy while I'm out on campaign. Tries to point straight through the dummy, cracking the wood. You have this option because you are cruel or an impaler. You lose 30 piety. I don't know, whatever. I got tons of piety. We took a 
Another guy prisoner. Let's see if I can wipe these armies out. Recruit. Let's see. Leave them be. They're unimportant. I guess I probably should. I mean, as far as role play purposes, be doing that because my guy is cruel. So I think he's cruel. Yeah, he's cruel. Um. Uh, we'll, we'll kick them out. Those are those drunken actors again. Last time I uh, got the drunken trait and uh, ended up dying from it. Alright, we uh, lost a building there, but that's no big deal. We keep fighting all these little battles to not only possibly capture our target in battle and gather up more score, and just keep raising up more men. Taken prisoner. Alright, we're at 93%. Yeah, I mean, where are they getting all these guys? Right, we captured somebody else. Six percent. One hundred percent. Okay, so all for peace. And we won the war. Draw down my troops. And now we need to hand this out. So, we have a couple of unlanded sons. So, this guy. We'll grant him the landed title. We'll include all the lower titles. There, we can have that. We got another unlanded son. You, grant landed title. What is this? A Tripoli. And include all the lower titles. There we go. And then we need to make one of these guys the Duke. 38, 97. 100. What is this? The This is the province of Tripoli. So let's make Tripoli the province capital. So we'll grant him the land of title, province of Tripoli. There we go. Successful campaign. Be nice if we could get, like, one of these fabricated claims. Oh, we got a couple of commanders we need to hand back out. Oh, open council position. My diplomat. All right, let's bring him in and see if he can get the claim fabricated. Can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They are at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them. To hear the sweet screams. To see the panic in their eyes. Let's see. Lose temp piety. Alright. Uh... Yeah, oil up the rack, why not? No, my guy's getting old and and crazy. He's getting into his 60s. Alright. Speaking of all these guys in my dungeon... Uh, we can ransom some of these guys out. And for the rest of these guys, let's throw them in the Obliette. Why not? Oh, 
Oh, what's this? Raiders. Alright, how many men can we raise up? Uh, 3,300. Alright, let's raise the levy. Let's raise the levy. Ah, we already raised it. So, let me just send our troops out of our castles and wipe out the raiders. Or at least drive them off, anyway. Oh, we captured uh, the leader of the raiders. Okay, what can we do with him? How about we throw him in the Oblia, too? Alright, now, we're still trying to proselytize there. Now, that hasn't converted completely yet. Alright, let's take a look at the De Jure Kingdoms here. So, what's the next duchy that we would want to try and get? De Jure Duchy. So, this is not a bad one right here. Uh, that's the Dejour Duchy of Aleppo. And probably have Cassus Bell into Holy War for all the titles. I guess that would take like the whole thing. Well, let me let my so I lost a ton of my levy um, in that war for this county, so I want to let my my levy build back up. Now I have an income of twenty three point five. I wonder if I actually could start putting together a small retinue. Um, what do we want? Heavy infantry and archers, or heavy infantry and horse archers, or heavy cavalry and light cavalry. I think I want to go with heavy infantry. Because this is what the ancient Greek armies were known for, was their heavy hoplite infantry, the, the phalanx. So, we're going to go, we're going to try and go heavy infantry. Majority of the population in Atelier has been converted to the Hellenic faith. Sweet! Alright, now he can get back to doing some more important things. Alright, so let's start putting together a retinue here. I'm gonna go with... Let's see... Archers. Right, let's see... Create a mixed Byzantine retinue. Almost empty, but reinforced at the specified size. Cost to create 95. Retinue cap usage. Projected monthly cost. So let's actually do a couple of those. Pontifex Mac Maximus died. And has been succeeded by Pontifex Maximus Caesar. My vassal. His heir. I wonder if that doesn't really matter, because the Pontifex, Pontifex Maximus will always become my vassal, because they occupy the the temple of Piraeus uh, here in Athens. So, and that's under my control, so... Uh, let's actually take the, uh... Take the characters out of that. And supposedly that should slowly reinforce up to full strength. You, what can you raise up? Uh, 
let's see, can we actually build something here? Yeah, it looks like we can. Uh, let's see, heavy infantry and pikemen. Uh, let's go with the heavy infantry and pikemen. Capture and battle is not my prisoner. Alright, nice. Alright, military. Let's just keep things rolling here. Um, can you get any technology yet? No. Greatly improving the mood of the faction. Very good. Intrigue. We got prisoners. This guy. That was dark cell. Talir. We can banish these guys. Let's just banish them. Still sitting here at two. I'm pretty sure they were supposed to reinforce up the strength. Hmm. Let's ransom all foreign prisoners, if that's even possible. Alright. Um. Ah, sorry, I had to step away there for a moment. Okay, we're back. Um, what do we want to do next? I was looking at my military, wasn't I? Um, back up to 7,000 men. We have 33,000 uh, in our vassal levy. Which is pretty much strong enough to crush almost anything. Um, should I go ahead? Oh, let's unpause it. March my retinue somewhere else. I don't know why that isn't increasing in size. I'd really like to get my balance up a little bit. What important decisions? Request promotion in the cult of Mithras. Uh, let's see. Does he have, like, the lustful trait? Yeah, he does. He wants to make a move. And this guy is just keeping on. Right, we gave her a good tumble. It's up to 62. I'm gonna increase our wealth here. I could just run the war with my vassal levies because the, the penalty is down. Yeah, I could do that. Shouldn't take too long. Alright, let's go grab it. This guy, vassal, uh, let's see, declare war. Holy war, send it. Right, let's raise up my vassal levies. Uh, we're gonna actually disband. Cause they're just gonna get wiped out. Disband those guys. Disband these guys. I don't feel like raising up my ships to go grab them, so. What we do is this. We're gonna put together two armies. One here. Let's watch everybody here, actually. Let's roll it pretty quick. 
They're probably going to siege some stuff down, um, but that's to be expected. We got, we still got a couple of. Oh, we don't want the retinue in there. I don't know what is up with this. You stay there. Pontifex Maximus Caesar has died and succeeded by Archpriestess Vigilantia. And we'll dismiss that for now because it doesn't seem like that's actually a problem. Alright, we'll merge the selected units. And we're gonna swing them in. Sixteen thousand, eighteen thousand men. Uh, let's see, who's actually leading this army? Let's make it me. Let's make it uh, this guy. Let's make it that guy. That's auto balance. Yeah, everything's nice and balanced. Okay, so. This is going to be a big pile of reinforcements. Where are we going to park it? Well, let's park it there. We might end up taking some attrition as it moves through this region here. Uh, nothing we can do about that. Oh, this guy died again? Oh, come on. We need to get that claim fabricated. Uh, what's the technology we got here? Oh, little punks. 1,800 men. Uh, let's raise that levy. Get them stuck there. Oh, we didn't want the, the ships. I wanted the... There we go. Yeah, they keep sending raiders down here because my lands are very rich. So... These my dalliance has resulted in a child. Fortunately, Miletios thinks little Theodolius is his. Whoops. <laughs> slightly improving the move of his faction. Good. Alright, we got these guys in region, and let's go attack. Attack him, wipe out his army. Alright, we can disband these guys now. Victory. And we're gonna split this army and put one in each of his holdings. And actually, I don't think we need this anymore. Well, let's split it up. Let's send it down here, just in case. Um, because we got a couple of other guys that have joined the war. Yeah, here we go. Want to have some reinforcements in theater in case we need them. We're only at minus three, it's not too bad. Right, I'll probably just take this army, march it in there. Hopefully catch them, yep. Oh, we'll just sit there, see just stuff. We're not taking any attrition. 
what, 44%? Yeah, we got a couple of sieges going. Victory. Eleven men. Eleven men. The constant surges of adrenaline and increased heart rate makes me weary. It's not fun being angry as it used to be. I lost a trait Roth. Oh, we destroyed some buildings. I should actually take both of those. Alright, let's see. Alright, there we go. More score, 100%. And we just created the title Province of Aleppo. Alright, so we can stand the armies down. Tempted to speak on my behalf. The factions. We don't really have any. Uh, besides, like, these just persistent factions. And they all look like they're in pretty good shape, so. Let's stand the armies down now. We just make sure that everything good. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's request that promotion. Listen intently as you describe the feats you believe you have earned your place among them. After time, the high priest stands and solemnly grants request. I lose the trait Nymphus and I gain the trait Leo. Okay, so we're holding too many holdings. But that's probably primarily because we got like all of these titles here. So uh, let's do the customary men on prison. That doesn't matter. Not a ruler. All right, with good high stewardship. This guy looks good. We're gonna grant him the title of Aleppo with all lower titles. Go for it. Uh, and we're probably going to hand something out here. Let's do the same. Let's do high learning and grant him the landed title. The temple. There you go get rid of the temple. It's still saying I have an incorrect holding, so let me just do that one more time. The good steward. I think it's the city. The Arcanet, yes. So grant him the land of title, the Arcanet of Marde. There we go. Now I can press, because actually I usurped that title, the province title. Um, so... What we can do is we can actually grab that. Because that should be mine. Then we can hand out all the titles to vassals and create another province. Okay, so... Well, these guys are still raiding. Or still trying to raid, even though they can't actually siege anything down because they don't have enough men. Idiots. Just wipe them out. Oh, and we captured the dude who was doing the raiding, so... Perfect. We'll ransom him off. Make some money off of him. Ten gold, it's not a lot, but it's something. Okay, we have this castle. We can still begin to improve. Is there anything that we can do that'll improve the uh, tax income? Plus point ten. Yes, let's do that. Um, what about in our home? 
What about Byzantium itself? Uh, we can improve the garden. Prestige to liege plus 0.2, the chapel, uh, piety to liege, um, wine cellar. Unlocks the banquet hall upgrade. Military technology points. Well, that's expensive. Seems my work in Nikea seems to have come to fruition by bribing. All right, we got ourselves a claim. Use it. Okay, so actually, this is going to be a good place to go ahead and stop. I still have no idea why the retinue is not reinforcing. Maybe there's something broken in the mod that I'm using, which is unfortunate. I might have to take a look at that, but I'll I'll, I'll do that off off the recording before the the next episode. So. Um, in our next episode, we got that claim here, so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna grab that uh, province. We'll grab this province. We'll see if we continue to expand uh, out here. And uh, hopefully see if we can get up to an Empire-level title. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you next time.